Hi everyone, it's Sarah. How are you all today? Um, so Wednesday, hump day. Yeah, it's um, it's been one heck of a week. I um, yeah, it's let me just double check. 20 to 5 it's slightly later than i wanted to come on but we're obviously i'm working from home andrew's working from home so i've been having all day with my little my little boy and andrew and the boy and uh, <laughs> andrew and Asuka. so the boys have gone out for a walk um they may just invade anytime soon but um yeah i just want to thank you all for being here today i don't know if, if anybody is like me but i feel like i need a disco nap today i <laughs> I'm looking so tired. Um, I'm feeling shattered, but uh, yeah, I'm just starting work. So here we go. But uh, yeah, it's good. And secondly, I've got lots and lots to talk to you today. It's really about faith and belief in times of uncertainty and how in relation this will affect your business and where you are right now using faith and belief, um, manifestation, and of course, neuroscience um, to come out stronger on the other side um, with your business. So, um, and today I feel like I'm a newsreader. <laughs> you know, like when they just shuffle the papers at the end and they say, thanks for watching, here's the weather. So um, yeah, I feel like a newsreader tonight, but I think this is an important topic. This is the third one in the series that I've been doing for you all. Um, and it's super important because it's it brings in the mindset piece, it brings in the spiritual aspect it brings in some real practicalities um so yeah i just i just want to crack on and say first of all as we start i hope everybody is <clears throat> fitting well who's watching me um if you're all okay then that's great and um yeah thank you so much for joining me so uh, <laughs> we are going to talk about starting starting off about the mind and in in uh, the main thing is the conscious mind. I'll just take a drink of water. I have to say, if you can see, don't know if you can see, this is my favourite restaurant in the whole world. Sadly, they are closed, um, but um, wishing them all the best for the future. Love you. Thank you so much for for providing great service. Um, yeah, so we're talking about the conscious mind, really. Now, the conscious mind can act in two different ways. It can either be inductive or deductive. So when it's inductive, it's you're in a place where you can choose. Yeah, so you can accept something or you can reject something. So at the moment, we've been bombarded by all the news. It's on literally 24 seven in some houses. I wouldn't recommend it, but I'm going to tell you that why later um but when it's in an inductive state you can accept and you can reject what you've actually been being you know given <laughs> um <laughs> the deductive state is when you become in a place where you can't really um reject any incoming information into the brain so it goes into your subconscious and then it becomes very emotional this is where all the emotions come from when you you feel like you know you're, you're hearing bad news it, that it's that part it's going into your subconscious brain um and this is obviously where our emotions come from and where our beliefs come from so i invite everybody at this time to remain conscious um and in a very what is it class as an inductive state so the thing is as us humans we are fascinated by stuff um <laughs> when we become fascinated we lose that ability to detach um and we lose the ability to choose so what happens is um we just get flooded with all sorts of stuff and if you've if ever watched a um tv adverts are great for it this is this is what they do is what they play on our on our brains and how how it works so advertisers and media professionals do this all the time and what they use is things like social proof um <clears throat> sex you've heard that the line sex sells and sex does sell because it gets it gets into our heads um and also the biggest biggest one that you don't hear often is fear fear is one of the ones that advertisers play on and i have to say um <laughs> excuse me i have such a dry cough at the moment sorry um uh, i have to say Currently, with the news being on 24 seven, and it's on repeat, and it's not like, here's the update, and now onto something else, or let's finish with a happy story. Um, <clears throat> it's just constantly 
building on that emotion. It's bombarding us and, you know, it's just feeding, feeding um, everybody with fear because what they're doing is um, they kind of, the, the, it sounds a bit harsh. I'm going to just say it. Okay. Um, <clears throat> what they're doing is um, they produce this level of fear, this heightened anxiety over and over. This is how many cases we have. This is how many people who's dying. This is how much lack of kit our medical staff have. This is uh, our stroke hospitals are struggling. And I'm not saying that that's not true, but you very rarely will hear anything positive, okay? You will just hear this on repeat over and over. It's now in this country. It's now, you know, got so many people. Um, <clears throat> this is what they're playing on purely because this then pays for advertising. I hate to say it, but this is how it works, okay? Um, so, but I have been contacted by people and they're in such a state um they you know can't sleep i can't eat I'm crying there's all those things i'm hearing and what this is <clears throat> is this is a heightened state of fear that is not being released okay so this is if you come across anybody who's who's actually um in these states is, who's crying who's upset who's just like having things on repeat um and constantly messaging you like texting oh my gosh have you read this have you seen this do you know what this what's happening here they're actually in a heightened state of anxiety because they are in a place of fear that cannot be released. So I would recommend if you come across anybody who is in this state, um, please do, you know, obviously be very mindful, be very supportive. Um, but as always, I say, do give them the facts, just give them the facts of actually what is really happening. Um, <clears throat> so something else that came up actually when I was talking to other people was about timetabling your day. Now I have worked at home for many years and I've had my little boy with me. Um, like obviously <laughs> many, many parents are currently, um, at the moment. Um, so he's with me 24 seven. So I'm, I've got to the place where I'm really good at compartmentalizing my day um and i kind of recommend this to you as well whether you have children at home or not but i would recommend doing this because it just puts in a level of heightened level of productivity um and also it gives you the choice as to as and when you do certain things okay so you get structure you get productivity and then you get choice so i would totally recommend timetabling your day um <coughs> yeah so the other thing I was going to say about having the choice as well is, yes, do take in some information, do take in the news. You know, it's it, we, we don't live under rocks, you know, we don't. And it is all around us. But I would say because you're you're choosing how to spend your day, also choose when you want to see any of the news. Um, but I would say, especially to these people who are really struggling um, and who are finding all very overwhelming, is make a specific time of day to decide when you want to watch that piece of news um, and to get grounded first. So in your head, you know you're going to hear all sorts of stories, but you know that basically you need to filter out all the facts. OK, and then you need to see how it affects you. And I don't mean how it affects you emotionally. I don't want you to go into that state of fear and worry and anxiety. But how does it affect you on a daily basis? If it is that everybody has to stay in and work from home, then we have to do it. That's a kind of fact. And that's how it is. <clears throat> and then what I want you to do is knock the television off. Yep, you've got everything you need. I don't want you to buy into anything emotional because you just don't need it, particularly when you know, we're dealing with people who are very emotional. Um, but I have to say, you know, really, this is a new era. And I've said this on the last few posts, but it is a brand new time. Um, it's a brand new era that we're in. Um, <laughs> so doing things the same as we have, have done before just isn't going to work from now on. So really now is the time to break, is to break rules. Be rule breakers. I know you amazing um entrepreneurs are, are already rule breakers we have an amazing opportunity now 
to actually go out and do things in a bigger, bigger way. Mm. <clears throat> but I have heard that because things are changing and things are up in the air, there's kind of a bit of shame and guilt for people <clears throat> who just don't want to get involved in somebody else's drama 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 oh my god yeah like you know there is there is so much drama but i would say if you are there to support somebody first and foremost take care of yourselves take care of your physical well-being and your emotional well-being um via choices that you can make and then you can go and help the next person who requires your help so <laughs> excuse me that being said we're going to jump into faith and belief because it will make sense that the stuff I've just spoken about now will be able to bring it into the context of what I'm talking about. And um, give me two seconds. I'm just going to grab that because I know it will ring and ring. Okay, right. Sorry, folks, I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just know what you're ringing. It's been ringing all day. Um, I will catch those lovely people later. Um, <clears throat> first and foremost, I want to talk about faith and belief, and I don't want it to necessarily be in a religious context, okay? Um, <clears throat> we all have faith in something, and we all have belief in something. It's how it is. It's just the way it, the way it is of the world nowadays. Um, but I want you to just kind of highlight what faith is and what belief is. So faith really is having trust and confidence in something else other than yourself. Um, it could be, you know, the universe, God, um, it could be another, it could be another person. Um, <laughs> but you have that complete trust in that other being or individual. Um, <clears throat> belief is the kind of intellectual understanding, um, of what you have the faith in. So it's actually, um, it's a system, it's a thought system um, that's actually set in your mind. So I just want to clear those two of what faith is and what is what belief is. Nowadays, they can become interchangeable depending on who you're talking with, but in general, that's kind of how it is. Um, <clears throat> but I want to say when you can harness faith and belief together, it's you can create and manifest anything you want okay i want you to and this is why it's important why we are talking about faith and belief right now during this process because the next steps i'm going to talk to you about i'm going to talk through will be how to then move forwards using the faith and belief and the practice of it um thirdly i also want to say about confidence so it's a kind of confidence is having a firm trust in something or someone that you can rely on when you put confidence faith and belief together it's almost like a superpower that you have um but you do have to embody it so there is three steps to take to practicing um i don't know if you've got a pen and paper if you want to jot these down or you can catch them again um <clears throat> but first of all is just don't get sucked in that negativity that's going on in the world around us now as we were talking about um and i would like you to invite you for the step number two is to you have to build your future already in your imagination um and you have to know that the rules that you used last time um are hi i've just got to <laughs> got my friend, my sister walking past the window she's on her uh, her daily exercise um yeah so where was that where is that um yeah you have to build an image in your mind of using new rules okay you can't kind of go back to the old way of thinking at the moment um everything has changed everything is up in the air um and you have to remember that we are on pause um so there's new channels of distribution there's new ways of information coming into us there's different types of things coming into us and as a, in a neuroscience perspective, we have channels in our brains, uh, like literally neural pathways in our brains. Now, currently, we don't have um, any neural pathways for this situation. This is a brand new situation. The majority of us have never had to stay in our homes and be on lockdown uh, <coughs> and be kind of like isolated. Um, so these are neural pathways. We're just receiving information as well in a totally different way. 
So this is how I want you to practice it is by understanding that there's those kind of three aspects and there's these three steps that you need to go through whilst you're also harnessing that confidence, that faith and that belief. Um, I want to read you a little section if I can find it. It's from a lovely, lovely book. <clears throat> um, it's a really great writer um, called Wallace Wattles. So <clears throat> he says, thinking the way we want to think regardless of the circumstances or situations are indicating to us is really the greatest power in the world i love that i love that quote it's it's just you know it really is thinking in a different way we it's inviting us to think in a different way i mean that could have been written you know now <laughs> um but it was it wasn't it's been written so this is a process that is is ongoing um, and can you can transfer into different situations um <clears throat> so yeah i love that i wanted to share that with you because I, I think it's just so so important so <clears throat> we're talking about the circumstances and the situations that indicate to us so <laughs> what we usually see is i'm just going to look down at my notes and doing my newsreader thing <laughs> um i need like one of those teleprompts <laughs> um yeah we experience the world in our five senses so the most of us are taught that we have like the five senses you know touch taste and smell etc um but um coming from a neuroscience perspective we actually don't we have somewhere between like 14 and even 20 depending on we have like the vestibular system we have all the kind of internal internal system um of the sensory of our internals of like how we how we hungry we are um our temperature etc okay so there's just there's more than five senses but <laughs> the majority of us are working on that five sense and it's been like seeing is believing you know if i see it i will believe it if i can sense it with my senses then i'll believe that it, it's existing right and that's how people work so they sense it and then <laughs> they kind of make facts up about the situation and it's not necessarily that they're the facts are correct it's just that the facts are made up <laughs> because it works for that person and then from there you will then get an outcome of how you want to uh, how you want to do it I, my screen keeps flashing i hope i'm still okay i'm still on um but yeah from there we get an outcome but what i want to invite you today everybody watching is to do it in a slightly different way okay so we need to find what the true facts are which is why i'm saying you know when you're seeing the news go in with it with um lack of emotion and just take what the facts are for you um <clears throat> and then also add what we're talking about now is desire it's your desire for something to to occur and from then you get the outcome okay so we can actually create our desire our desired outcome i would say rather than making up facts and hoping we will get a good outcome from something that we have we've made because it fits what we think life should be like because as i was saying life is not like it used to be like before um <clears throat> so yeah desire desires a big big part right so um i want to say desire only occurs right when the possibility of it exists and it's the possibility of it okay it's it's something that you really hold with your beliefs and your faith and you want the best outcome okay and this is what you put all put together for your desires um <clears throat> because you see it's there, there is a difference um between what we want and what we need so currently what we want will be um oh, well what do we want we probably want to go back to how we were <laughs> um we probably all want our jobs to be safe and secure we probably all want to go outside and go for a coffee you know we we want certain things that we want However, there's certain things that we currently need, which is some form of income to keep us going, a roof over our head and food. So we really are stripped right back. So our wants and our needs 
currently don't match. So this is now not the time to go out and say, oh, I think I'll go and buy a car or I'll go and buy a big TV. OK, we're in an invited place where we are. Um, we're going basically back to basics to see really what does any of us want? What does any of us desire? Um, <clears throat> and then harnessing that belief system and that faith system in order to achieve it. So, um, yeah, let me have a look. Uh, I'm going to talk about, <laughs> yeah, the law of polarity. Okay. And I want to talk about opportunity. This is with opportunities that will occur in the business world coming, going forwards. And this is how and why we see things in a different way. Different perceived people see different things in a different way to each other. Um, I'm going to give you an example. So if you don't know the universal law of polarity, basically everything in the universe, whether it's either physical or non-physical, has um, an opposite side to it. So I have a palm of my hand and I have a back of my hand. I have a start for a race, a start line and a finish line. You can't have a start line without a finish line. OK, you just can't. That's that's how it is. <laughs> but also everything is created whole. Um, what our brain tells us is, though, um, whether things are in this particular situation, good or bad. And I did a video on this the other day. You can go into more detail about this. But, um, yeah, our brains are trained as to, obviously, how we then perceive the world and what we create and the outcomes that we have, that things are either good or bad or positive or negative. Um, <clears throat> yeah. So... I want to use the business analogy, right? Because this will come. This actually will come for some people. And if this is you, please, I want you to remember that you sat and watched this. <laughs> Thank you for, for staying with me, everybody. Um, I want you to remember this is you because you will have um, opportunities that will come in the future. Um, yeah, so how will I explain this? Right, okay, so in the future you may have a business opportunity or an opportunity to do something that you've never done before um <laughs> because opportunities will now come in different ways um so what i want you to <clears throat> to say is i'm going to give you an example okay so there's um uh, mr a and mr b they both have the same business opportunity okay they both look through it um from a place of how they view the world so mr a <laughs> thinks the world is fabulous it's full of opportunity it's full of goodness it's always expanding and it's been this opportunity has been dropped in his lap for something good to happen okay mr b on the other hand <clears throat> doesn't have the same background. Mr. B maybe hasn't had a business in the past or he just looks at it on, on paper, it looks scary and it's a no-go. He's not going to touch it with a barge pole. Mr. A goes for the business and makes it fly and soar. Now, if Mr. B went for the same business, the likelihood is that he could still have the same opportunities as Mr. A, but because the way he saw the world and the way he viewed faith and belief in that situation, that business would probably <clears throat> almost definitely fail because he was coming at it from a totally, totally wrong angle. He wasn't seeing the opportunities. He was seeing the kind of worry and the failures and the what ifs. OK, so I want to invite you to rethink how you see the world at this current time. Um, and yeah, are you going to be the Mr. A? who sees the opportunities or are you going to be the Mr. B who sees all the problems and all the no's? Okay. So, <laughs> so why does, why does, I'm going to go into kind of things. Why does things happen? Why does opportunities fall into our lap? Um, for some people and for other people, it just doesn't happen. Okay. So we are talking about, you probably heard like, like um uh, follows like like attracts like um so our thoughts travel at 187,000 miles per second Pew! speedy um <laughs> and our brains are like receivers and um uh, they 
what's the word? I've totally forgotten the word. They're like receivers and they also um, they also give out. It's the best word I can use at the moment. <laughs> um, they give things out. So basically, when you are in a positive mindset, when you're in a mindset full of opportunity, when you're in a mindset of belief and faith and confidence that we talked about before, um, <clears throat> you are putting out all that goodness into the universe and it will go out and hit something that's on the same frequency and return back to you. This is why um, all the kind of, yeah, mindset coaches talk about this. They don't really tell you exactly why, but it's because you're giving out actual physical energetic uh, wavelengths that will then come back to you. It's just how the world works. Um, <laughs> yeah. So also on the, on the other side, if you're giving out fear, and lack and worry and is this situation going to get any better and am i going to have a job at the end of it i don't think i am i don't think my business is going to survive uh yeah, out it goes out it goes um and i've got to say that this is the time when people will notice manifestations probably more than anything else because um it will be a time when people manifest actually what they don't want and what they don't need is because they're putting it out through fear. So once you know you are in control of your thoughts, um, you're in control of what comes in, um, it's it's at that point then that you can then send out the good stuff. But if you're not in confidence, if you don't have belief, if you don't have faith, if you get caught on the emotional hamster wheel of fear and negativity because you're being sucked in, this is why I was saying earlier, switch off the TVs, <laughs> switch off the TVs, um, you know, go, you, we all have time. We now have time. It's not necessarily that we're not, you know, we're, we're not rushing around as much anymore. Really is what I'm saying is that we, we have time to sit quiet and to see actually what do we really want. This is the time that we can now put things out into the universe as to actually what we do really want. Um, so I, yeah, I'm just going to say I'm on to, coming on to the last step, but I want to say thank you so, so much for joining me today. This has been part three um, and I'm going to want to get all these uploaded onto YouTube. I'm going to stick them on my website so you can view them as like a, a short series. Um, but basically it's, uh, it's, it's what's happening in times of uncertainty, um, how we are uh, could be or should be acting as business owners, as entrepreneurs, we should be looking for opportunities, um, how our mindset works, the neuroscience behind it all. Um, so yeah, if this interests you in any way, then that's absolutely fabulous. And also, obviously, I'm a business coach. So I do have some free sessions. Um, it would be it would be the only right thing for me to do at the moment is to offer you some guidance and support um, on top of these videos. So if you do want to speak with me at any time, um, we can book a, a kind of a support session and just to see would take you forward. Um, if there's any of these videos that's kind of brought anything to light and you want to talk over anything, in relation to where you are and um, if you have a business that's brick and mortar and you kind of like right let's go online let's just open it up to the world um i'm kind of yeah i'm your girl for that one <laughs> that's what i do day in and day out so um yeah do get in touch with me you can personal message me on facebook um you can get me at sarah asquith valance at email.com that's email.com um and uh yeah if you're catching this at a later time just you know let me know where you're coming from if you just type in the replay i know i know who's catching this it'd be absolutely fantastic so i'm gonna kind of finish on the section this last bit today on the four steps of getting a really good outcome. So, okay, we're in faith, we're in belief, we have confidence, um, but there is a little bit more to it. Okay, so step one, you have to be really detailed in what you want. Okay, so if you're just like, I'd like some more money, well, you could have a pound there you go there's some more money um <clears throat> so if you need you know two thousand a month to live on five thousand a month to live on ten thousand a month to live on you know whatever you need to to live on and it's not currently appearing um you need to be really really clear about this about what exactly you want and and uh, and the kind of what you're asking the universe to bring towards you um 
people often talk about vision boards and and again it's not really clear as to why vision boards are used but we all have um what's classed as the visual cortex in our brains so when we see something it makes it so much easier for us to actually believe it can exist whereas if we are just kind of wishing and hoping um it doesn't always work um and that is because we we find it hard to visualize so if you can find a picture it can be on pinterest um, <coughs> of a magazine anything like that you know just it will help your visual cortex to put into place in your brain exactly what you are wanting to um to put out into the universe um <laughs> i have to say it's about the next step is about practicing gratitude now that was what my message was on yesterday was practicing gratitude um even if you haven't received it um you know that it's coming okay you can be grateful you can be grateful by saying you know i i am living in gratitude that my five thousand a month is on its way to me and i have it yeah but stay in that level of gratitude always and the last and least thing is it things don't happen just by sitting around and hoping and thinking and wishing <laughs> things happen when you take the next physical step which is looking for opportunities <clears throat> so you know you at the moment we are all i'm gonna say cocooning i love cocooning i like it better than socially isolating <laughs> sounds harsh i'm still social i'm on here with you you know i'm cocooning i'm looking after myself and my family um <clears throat> so at the moment they won't come in the normal way they won't come in the normal way i'm on here i'm talking to you um and if i've you know you've come across me you want some support you know it's because you've watched this um you won't have met me in the streets or at a networking event it's just not possible but you've come on here and you've watched this today so i want you to to look at the opportunities that are around you so at the moment it's mainly going to be online which is why all all us business coaches are saying the way forward is online and and i have been saying that for many many years you know it's that's the way the world is is going to be working but it's just glaringly obvious now that this is how it's going to be so um opportunities won't come in in the normal way um but you have to keep your eyes and your ears open so <laughs> i'll go through the four steps just quickly run through um be really really detailed in what you want um, make a picture or you know draw a picture or find a picture um, to trigger your visual cortex um, practice living in gratitude constantly if that is the one emotion you can do that's the one emotion i recommend um is to live in gratitude um even if you're struggling to find something good at the moment um it could just be that you have a roof over your head and you have a meal tonight okay just find the good in something and fourth look for opportunities they won't be in the obvious places that they were but they they will definitely be there um and i'm gonna leave you with one final thing i absolutely love this quote um <coughs> let me find it yeah i'm doing my news reader thing it's a really beautiful quote here we go right to, and do you know you know when people are this is just meant to be two people in the last 24 hours have told me about this book so i have to share it with you it's just meant to be okay so it's uh it's called god works through faith by robert russell um and whether you're religious or not i'm just going to talk about this it it just doesn't matter i know it's such an inflammatory topic about religion um but today we are talking in general about faith and belief and it can be a faith or a belief in anything okay <laughs> so i want to say a faith i'm going to give this quote before i go but it's lovely so by robert russell <laughs> Faith and belief that you have the power to do all things is a magnetic power that brings the answer to your desire. The results do not come by chance or accident or by fate. They are molded by the power of your thought and the power of the universe. Okay, I just want to say it's such a beautiful quote. 
um it really is a faith and belief is a mental attitude and i think that this is this is where we are at the moment you know we have to put out that there is something greater than what we can see with our five senses that we have to put out that um we are going to come outside the other side even better um what's the option <laughs> the option is to um is to to have negativity um and nothing is ever good is going to come from that so um yeah if you are currently struggling with a business um if you don't know which way to turn um i just want you to at least harness if you can faith belief confidence gratitude super super important gratitude um and desire those five is what i want to leave you with today thank you so so much for joining me you know where you can find me if you ever need to get in touch um i will say thanks very much for being with me have a super evening um go and chill and i'll catch up with you soon take care bye for now